Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, my name is Loie and it has been quite a while since we have done an update on the sun vanished. And if you guys think I look a little bit familiar, I'm filming in the same outfit that I literally just filmed my Gregory 88 update in. For once, there is like no lack of like viral scary Twitter stories lately. And I mean, that's awesome. It's just kind of hard for me to keep up because a lot of the times I like to wait quite a while in between my updates so I can give the people who are posting the stories plenty of time to update. In the Sun Vanish case, we haven't had an update really in like a month. There are some pretty interesting events that have led to him not uploading for a month. I was dragged into the story at one point, not dragged. I willingly walked my way in because I love it. Friendly reminder to you all that the writer of this story will have his Twitter and his Patreon linked below, his personal Twitter and his Patreon. Um, I obviously know that The Sun Vanished is a fictional viral Twitter story, but at the same time, Aiden needs assistance and help writing the story, getting props, getting other people to work with him. So I'll have that linked below. He doesn't know I'm doing this. I'm just doing it because I love this story and I want to see more of it. So you can say it's a very selfish plug. <laughs> with that being said, let's get right into this scary update. Now, on October 8th, he said, been slowly making my way towards the coordinates Danian sent. I get paranoid when I'm outside of a cold spot for too long. So that was really only a few days after the last tweet that I had read. On that same day, he still posts about the car that he has now. Whoever owned this car previously, they had an adult size sleeping bag and a child size sleeping bag in the back, which makes me super sad and leaves me wondering a lot about whoever it was that owned it before. There also does seem to be something in the very back there, like this striped object. I wonder if he'll ever address that or maybe that's just his and he knows what it is. It really hit me just how many people have been impacted by all of this. How many friends? How many families? I wish I could do more to help. It's been weird being so open and talkative to you all now, but it's nice to actually communicate with people again. And then on the 20th, just read TH Madjoy's updates. Oh my god. So popping over to Tucker's account, here's what I see. It's been quiet here for a long time. No lights, no people, just cold and quiet. I'm much more stable now, if that wasn't already obvious by these tweets, but the stuff that happened. I keep replaying the events in my mind over and over and over and over and the images won't go away. My parents and my sister, a ship was there and a blue flash just completely mutilated them. If I had done things differently, if I had never stormed off after that screaming match and moved away, if I hadn't been selfish, they would still be alive right now. And then those things came after me. Strobes, headlights, whatever you want to call them. I knew not to look at their red lights, so I shut my eyes as tight as I could. They didn't like that, so one grabbed me by the throat and repeatedly slammed my head into the wall. I got out of there within an inch of my life, and the thing I'll never forget when I glanced back while running away was seeing it look towards me. There was a large cylinder protruding from its head, and I swear to God, its arms and legs grew right in front of my eyes and that's really interesting because i mean we haven't really had any kind of visualization as to what these things look like until now but going back to the sun vanished been staying in another cold spot this one clearly hasn't been traveled in a long time the trees are dying here used to have these kinds of evergreens in my backyard when i was a kid it's disturbing to see them dying now then a few days later just drove past a junkyard full of cars something Odd, I noticed. All of the mirrors were gone. That is very odd. <laughs> Why would someone have come through and just taken out all of the side and rear view mirrors? That sounds very, very interesting. Nat at Lost Sun News had posted a few things, but specifically the Sun Vanish tweeted this, or retweeted rather. I am a Russian soldier camping out in an old military base and recently killed a, what we call them, something in Russian or demon lights. We shot a ship out of the sky in an old World War II anti-air cannon and it attacked our camp. We killed it with a T-14 armada, an armored tank. We quickly learned contact with the body equals death. More are coming. Some are bigger than others and a mothership is right above our base and it will crush us if we shoot it. Please acknowledge this. 
for it might be our last stands. Interesting. Um, there were a few other tweets on Nat's account, but it's sort of weird that the Sun Vanish chose that one to retweet. Jumping over to at Law Sun News, I know we're kind of darting back and forth between the three accounts in this, but everyone had a few updates. On the 6th of October, Nat said, happy birthday to me. And then immediately after posted DM that they got. Hey kid, glad to see you're online again. I'm sorry for popping off like I did. I let my emotions get the best of me. Just now I realize this is Tucker's account that's talking to her. You're doing a good thing here with your Twitter. Don't be afraid to keep broadcasting people's first-hand accounts and experiences. Then another on the 7th. Hello Nat, my name is Leon, or Leon and I am currently in my boarded up home. People have been wandering around the streets and it is hard not to help my neighbors, but it looks as though they have drank the water. Thank God that I was informed about how the water works. I have a theory that, instead of simply disappearing, the sun is still there and the earth is covered up by something. Whether that is the largest alien ship or some sort of sheet, I don't know. But if the sun were gone, we'd be able to see millions of stars because there would be no light pollution. But it is pitch black. That's a very interesting theory because I mean up until now we've just assumed the sun like magically went out or went missing or something. That's very 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 interesting and something I never thought about before. And then another on October 10th. Hey Nat, I think I know where the sun vanished might be. Last several weeks there's been a lot of fighter jets flying around where I've been staying. Turns out there's an air force base not but 10 miles from me. Do you think TSV is near an air force base? Again, a very interesting piece here. The next tweet was the Russian soldier one we already read. Then, hi Nat, I'm Mike, glad I found you. I was at my cabin near the border of Minnesota and Canada, close to Lake Superior when all of this went down. I was probably the only one for miles at that point. I have never seen the flashing lights others are talking about, but it has gotten cold here fast. For a while I was catching fish and just living off of what I caught, but now I'm out of propane for the cabin. I do, however, have a generator and a ton of gasoline after stealing it from every house and cabin for 10 miles in every direction. Whenever I run out of gasoline, I am likely going to die. And that is terrifying. There's a photo of the lake, then the rest of the DM. Here is the lake. It shouldn't be this cold in October. It has made fishing impossible. The snow isn't really snow. Superior is so big that when the wind blows, open parts of the lake spray water from their waves that become snow. None of it has come from the sky. There are no stars, no northern lights, and no sources of light other than the flash on my camera. After reading what you have written, I never do this anymore and try to stay as dark as possible. Luckily, about a mile away lives one of those crazy doomsday preppers. He had a bunker full of canned food, gasoline, guns, cash, 80 gallon drums of water, and another generator. We all have generators up here because of winter storms. He has been saving all of this stuff since Y2K, almost 19 years ago finally came in handy, at least for me. I haven't seen another person for months. My water supply is fine because it's in those drums or from my own well. I would advise people who can move to get away to rural areas. It's dark and scary, but there are no flashing strobes nor zombie people, at least not yet. And if they do come, I have more ammo than I know what to do with. That is where Nat disappears. That is where Tucker disappears. That is where the Sun Vanish disappears. All until two days ago when I am building this. I had a dream about Dan Yen, from the Sun Vanished, of course. <laughs> but it was more like a memory, I guess. When we were little, we would climb into this giant dead tree in our neighborhood. The branches could barely support our weight, so we would kick and push each other's branches until eventually one would snap. I can't help but feel like I'm already too late. I haven't heard a word from him. Something feels really off, but I can't put into words why. And then a bit later, wait, <laughs> what do you mean I've been gone for a month? It's only been a week or so. And that's when everyone realized that he had no recollection that he had disappeared for an entire month. He thought he'd only been missing from Twitter and not talking for the last week. Now, of course, it's dark 24 seven and maybe his memory is kind of failing him, um, but that's when things start to turn a little bit weird. He then says, I don't, with two T's, remember how I got here. And it's just kind of a photo of himself, what, what looks almost like a lake or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's just like, it could be really clear water or I could be totally wrong. It looks like a lake to me. But again, I don't remember how I got here. I'm racking my brain trying to think, think of what happened with 2Ds. I wish I had tweeted more so I could remember. 
but you guys are right, it's been a month. And so I replied <laughs> and I said, you've got some extra letters in that tweet, homie. Maybe take a nap. That's the first thing I do if I lost a whole month. Have you checked your camera roll or anything to see if there's any stuff from the days you miss? And he replied, I feel like that's with two S's what I've been doing, napping. I have so little energy, but I should definitely check my camera roll. And then he shows that in his camera roll, under an album called Remember. These were taken four years ago. For some reason, they were in an album called Remember. And it's just a road, a random deer, the side of a house. I, I don't even know what to make of those. I know I sound crazy, but it feels okay to stay here. I think here is safe, next to the water, next to the water. And then that's when Tucker tweets. And Tucker says to the Sun Vanished, you need to leave now. You are not safe. This is exactly what the water is designed for. They are going to come for you. You cannot stay there. You need to leave as soon as possible. Please listen to me. To which the Sun Vanished says, something is keeping me here. I try to leave, but I just come right back. I don't know what to do. That's where this new update leaves off. Um, and definitely I think that there are some things in this most recent update that have answered some questions that I have. And what, you know, over and over and over again, I keep asking myself, how did the sun just go out? And how are some people with the sun and some people aren't with the sun? And, you know, some people can see it and some people can't. And some people have no idea what's going on and everyone's experiences are different. I think it's very interesting now to think that maybe there was like something in the sky or maybe there's been something in the sky all along literally hovering above the earth and then those lightning storms of the ships coming in and out it's all manufactured by something much larger so now this takes an interesting turn what what are they or is this going to turn into like alien abductions like i have no idea what to think but i love that i finally feel like i have more answers than questions in this story and i'm so excited to see what comes next so if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you guys so very much i'm so excited to hear what you think of this update down below i love you and i will catch you in my next video bye